This episode of CleaningBiz.TV is made possible by the Janitorial Store's 6 CD set, Standard Operating Procedures for Janitorial Companies. You can use the documents in this set to systematize your cleaning company. And if you're thinking about qualifying your business for SIM certification, this program does meet certification requirements and has been approved by an ISSA SIM certification assessor. I'm Jean Hansen, and this is a show that will help turn your vision into a successful cleaning business. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard lots of people say that if you want to be successful in business, you must have a passion for what you do. But how many people do you know that truly love to clean for a living? Sure, many people get satisfaction from taking a dirty space and making it shine. But is that satisfaction enough to make a successful cleaning business? Not quite. Why do you think the su success of new cleaning companies is so low? It takes a lot more than the love for cleaning or the hope that you can make a good living to make a successful cleaning business. So if owning a successful cleaning business isn't about cleaning, then what's it about? In my opinion, it's about three things, customer satisfaction, systems, and consistency. The most common claim made in our industry is, we provide quality cleaning services. This is a phrase that's so overused, no one is going to believe you unless you can prove it. People have been let down time and time again by companies that make this promise. Most can deliver on it for a short period of time, but then the bottom drops out, and your client thinks to himself, here we go again. So if you want to avoid making promises you can't keep, then it's time to put some sort of documented process or written system in place that is ingrained into the culture of your business and used every day by every employee. Your written systems will ensure that for every property you clean, the same tasks will be completed in the same order and using the same route through the property today, next week, and six months from now. And as long as you have a consistent training program in place, just about any properly trained employee can replace a missing employee without causing a major upset within that account. And these documented systems are for other areas of your business too, including hiring procedures, bookkeeping procedures, marketing, phone answering, and onboarding, just to name a few. When, when people talk about systems, the typical example used is McDonald's. Now the key to McDonald's success is certainly not their food. It's the speed and consistency with which they deliver their product. Of course, there are many other things that contribute to McDonald's success, but they would never be able to deliver on all their successful marketing campaigns over the years had they not been fanatical about the systems they have in place to make sure the customers are satisfied. When your cleaning company provides consistent services, your clients will continue to do business with you because they can count on you to deliver on the promises you make. If you want to ensure the success of your cleaning company, you might want to borrow a page from McDonald's by putting systems into place that will ensure you deliver consistent, quality service. That is what will lead to more customer satisfaction. That's it for today's show. If you'd like to save yourself hundreds of hours and thousands of dollars in time and money spent creating systems for your business, then be sure to check out the six CD set, Standard Operating Procedures for Janitorial Companies. The link to the program is below the video. I'm Jean Hansen, and you can find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Just look for the links at cleaningbiz.tv. See you next time.